It's a brown snail with cream to yellow stripes running in one direction from the tip of the shell to the head. And I'll show you what it looks like in the pictures. Um, shell usually has seven or more whorls. I'll show you what that looks like. And it also has a truncated columnar. So this is what we mean. Um, when we talk about this um, truncated columnar, it is actually like a hook at the underneath of the snail shell, right? Compared to our local snails where you don't have that hook, it is smooth. The whorls, um, basically it's on, on your shell, you will see the different sections. So if you look at the tip, there are different sizes of that shell. That section is called a whorl. So the thing is, those are some of the other features that you need to, that you will see, right? But the most important thing is the coloration. That brown snail, with cream to yellow stripes. So if you look at them here now, the snail with the brown, the brown snail, that's the giant African snail. And the one that is next to it is a local snail that we have. So you can't mistake them. The local snail from a giant African snail. Now the thing about giant African snail, they multiply so fast that you will see them more than anything. Hardly you are seeing our local snails, right? So once you have a number of snails in an area, more than likely it is giant African snail. Again, comparing it. Now, this is if you look at um, the snail on well, it's my right. That snail where you see that a, a black X on its shell, that is closely it closely looks like our giant African snail, but that is also a local snail. So again, by just looking at the shell, you can know whether it's giant African snail or if it is our local snail.